Hello, I'm Danny. This is Big Bots Little Bots Unbot, and today we're looking at PlayStation VR 2. Let's jump into it. Big Bots Little Bots. Bots. Smash the PlayStation. Right, so we have the PlayStation VR 2 Sense controller charging station. So this just sort of seemed like a, a good option. Bit of an essential, you could say. Strangely, these are USB-C chargeable, but you only get one USB charging cable. And it's not like a split one, so that's why this is probably a good investment. Plus it gives you somewhere to store your control, so that's always a bonus, surely. Okay, right, so what have we got in here? We've got we got USB-C charging docks. Got your power plug and a little power brick. Okay. So this is the dock itself. It's got that same sort of flowy design that the PS5 has. So that's nice. Got your PS5 logo there. Got a Sony logo here. You've got your little charging pads that these will connect to. Got a rubberized grip base and you've got your power input right there. So that's it. Just take a quick look at these. So you've got all your instructions in there, I won't bore you with that. But yeah, as you can see, just got these little USB-C wireless chargers. So they're cool. And they've got slight magnetism so they will stay on there, which is good. So, onwards and upwards. Let's look at the main attraction. So one of the nice things for me about this was the fact that there are quite a few games already on the list, but there's also a few pre-existing games that have been upgraded to VR, so like Gran Turismo. That made me happy because um, yeah, I've not even opened it yet because I've been too busy with other stuff, so I finally get to play that. But yeah, so I got the version with Horizon, so I'm looking forward to trying that because I never played the first one. But I played Death Stranding, obviously it runs on the Decima engine, so that'd be nice. I can only imagine it's a good game. Um, so it says on the box, cutting edge performance, PlayStation VR 2 Sense technology, quick setup, thrilling new worlds. So, okay, well, we're gonna lift that out, put that there, that there. Now, one thing PlayStation have said is that if you want somewhere to store your PlayStation VR 2, then keep the box because it's very useful for that. Yeah, I mean, I probably won't personally be doing that, but I could definitely see why it would be useful in a lot of households. So. Start with these controls. Now, they are very light. Which is nice, because it's... To be fair, it's surprising how VR can be quite taxing on your arms because obviously in planes of movement, a lot of the time we don't really bring our arms up a lot and stuff, but when you're playing VR, you're more likely to. So you'll soon find that you do get little aches that you weren't expecting. So first impressions of those, they feel very nice. Feel a lot like the DualSense controller to hold in terms of the materials as well, nice. Um, obviously you've got your straps, you don't launch it at your TV, which is nice. And then other than that, You've got your PlayStation buttons, your L2, R2, L1 and R1 here. Now these all have sensors, so if you rest your finger on them, you don't have to push them and the game will react to your hand. So yeah, that's how that works, which is nice. And definitely an upgrade. So I've had two VR systems before and that was the Oculus Rift and the meta quest so there's the scratch code for horizon 
USB to USB C. We got our earbuds. Um, they look quite neat. I like the fact you get a standard auxiliary jack. So that means obviously if you want to use your own, it's not hard to do so. And then you've just got some different buds right there to suit your ear basically. Other than that, you've just got your standard paperwork, but from what I've heard, this is so easy to set up anyway, that won't be necessary. So I'll just bring the charging dock back quickly. As you can see, the USB-C chargers are right here. So I'll just click in. And then that's how they sit in there, like so. Obviously you're not meant to move them around like this, but that is how they sit. So again, nice, neat way to store, easy to pick up and put that down. Maybe not that one so much. There you go. Yeah, nice. And then next up, we have the VR2. Again, feels very lightweight. Pushing in rubber, but feels feels nice and like air filled. So definitely feels like the cushions here. Okay, but really soft rubber flaps on here to block out the light. There's ones for your nose as well. You got a power button on the bottom. Not sure what that button does at the moment. Got your four cameras at the front. Got another button right here that feels like okay. That so you can see that just helps with the adjustment here. And then you've got this, which I believe, yep. So this on top here just changes the gap for the eyes and then other than that you've got these here which I assume it's just a guess once this is in that just works you can store your buds in there that's quite a nice little feature with a fault that so that's handy and then to adjust the band push the button okay and then that wants to put itself back and then yeah you just dial it in here so let's try that on we'll just plug this in as well no yeah that must that must be for that but that's a really nice design feature i like that I like that a lot so the rubber feels very cold it's got a nice cool sensation to it now one thing i will say compared to the quest for example is the feel on my face it's i'm feeling it a little bit more on the bridge of my nose let's try okay you can bring it forward a little bit and that helps with that so in terms of light leak there's just a tiny bit at the bottom which to be honest, oh, okay, no, now I've adjusted that. That has, I'd say 90% of the light leaks gone. I can't see any around my nose now. So a tiny little bit here. I don't think I'd really be able, to, no, I wouldn't be able to get that any closer to my face without making it uncomfortable. But yeah, first impressions, that is a comfortable unit to wear. Also, while I remember, apparently they work quite well with the pulse, so. I just thought I would try this on with them quickly. So yeah, they're not touching. And they do fit quite well. Also, I would definitely say you could wear glasses under this. He's definitely got room unlike some of the other units. So, next up is the cable. Now apparently this cable's four meters long. You can add a extension cable to it of one meter. Anything over that will start to cause some problems. I'm gonna link one down in the comments with an affiliate link, so if you want to support the channel and get yourself an extra meter, then please buy from that link. At no extra cost to you, just that isn't. Bit of a crunchy wire. Not 
not something I like to hear when I'm um, unraveling a wire. But one thing I would like to see on things like this is braided cables, just because they're nicer, really. Less likely to get damaged as well. Yeah, no, I'm not even going to worry about undoing that USB-C cable. I can go in my drawer of wires. So another little detail I've just noticed is you've got the PlayStation button logos there. You've got vents here and you've got some air cooling on the inside as well around the eyes to stop misting. Just for comparison's sake, this is obviously a standalone unit. You don't need anything connected to it, which is great. It's a good unit. It's been for me a bit of a game changer for VR personally, but still I don't find myself using it that much. I feel like I'm more likely to use the PSVR too, just because it's more accessible in the living room. I don't have to worry about charging it, um, which for me is the biggest problem with this. It's the fact that you forget to charge it and then you'll never end up using it basically. So, um, but in terms of size, obviously you've still got your four cameras on this. You've got your extra strap across the top of the head and yeah, I mean, it's still an impressive bit of kit but the weight difference as well is hugely different. This may be a bigger unit but it's definitely lighter than this. So obviously you've got the battery and everything in here. So you've got a completely different shape on this here that gives the haptic feedback and yeah, I mean the button layout is very similar. I think this might have one or two extra little features in terms of buttons, but I mean, you can probably see on the dust on there, it hasn't been used for a while. Also, that takes the battery. Now, there have been complaints about the battery on here not lasting as long as some people would like. I believe it's four hours roughly, so it's not too bad for the average session someone would have. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like Do you like more than four hours or would that be more than enough for you? Let me know. So, another great thing with this, in my opinion, is the fact that you've got OLED screens in it. Now, OLED's apparently a lot safer for the human eye. What I will say, although I am sitting further back than... I am from my computer screen I've got an OLED TV screen and I never feel like I've got eye strain whereas my panel behind me isn't OLED and yeah I do I do sometimes suffer from a bit of eye fatigue from it so that's definitely a perk it's not perfect but blacks are definitely a lot better um, yeah blacks are a lot better you don't get that like grey colour it's pure darkness on this so that's good um, another perk with this is once it's all set up, you can literally use this as your TV screen. So if your partner wanted to watch telly and you wanted to game still, literally just put this on and away you go. Just use this as your TV screen on your PS5. So it's an option, an option. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to testing it. I'm going to be doing some live streaming with it as well. So if you'd like to see some of that and find out what I think of the unit itself, which I'll be uploading hopefully over the next few days. Got a few other commitments, but let's hope that gets done. Um, yeah, what games would you like to see that pre-existing be upgraded to VR? I mean, um, I've seen modders have done it on PC. Hogwarts Legacy would be quite good, I reckon. What about Grand Theft Auto 5 or GTA 6, whenever that comes? Anyway, if you could hit that subscribe button. I've been Danny. Thanks for watching. It's been Big Bots, Little Bots, Aunt Bots, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Big Bots, Little Bots, Aunt Bots.